the heart of Brisbane city, overlooking its iconic river, All Hallows School stands proudly. Its historic buildings hold decades of stories, its students inspired by the vision of the Sisters of Mercy who established the school in 1861. Through service, academic, cultural and sporting opportunities, its young women respond to the challenge to live out the values of the Sisters of Mercy and its founder, Catherine McCauley. I think Catherine McCauley has left a very big legacy at this school because one of the things that was very dear to heart, her heart was the education of young women. She's a strong, independently thinking, courageous woman. Um, many of the challenges she faced, um, young women are still facing today. She was very determined to ensure that young women received an education, both a spiritual education, but also an academic education. And her belief was that through that, that the world would be a far better place. So whilst she always saw education as the focal issue of social improvement for equality and justice, she said wherever a good woman presides there, there will be peace and tranquility. She also was confronting the injustice of the society of the time. She was a woman of great courage. She had great compassion for people. She had a wonderful sense of humour from her writings. And she had a love for her younger companions particularly. She was one who had an enormous amount of energy because that was her desire to keep bringing God's compassion and mercy through education and health care to people in need. Catherine McCauley established the Sisters of Mercy in Dublin in 1831. It was a religious order who focused on and responded to the extreme poverty and suffering of the day, especially experienced by women. After Catherine's death in 1841, one of her close companions, Sister Vincent Whitty, and five other members of the Sisters of Mercy arrived in Brisbane, and in 1861, All Hallows School began with an enrolment of 16 boarders. Each generation of students since has been enriched with a Mercy education. The school's motto is God and duty, Dieu et devoir. And when we look at God and duty, when you think of both the spiritual works of mercy and the corporal works of mercy that are central to Catherine Macaulay's faith and her vision. That's God is the spiritual works of mercy and duty is attending to those corporal works of mercy. In terms of our named values, there are six values. Respect, responsibility, truth, compassion, justice, loyalty. It's about wanting to make a difference and make the world in which we live a better place, which is what Catherine did. She was committed to making a difference, particularly for those who are most disadvantaged. All Hallows students are encouraged and given opportunities to live out these values in practical ways. The school has a number of Mercy Action Groups encompassing breakfast programs, help for the homeless, visits to the elderly and peer tutoring. It is about social justice education and that is very much underpinned by Catholic social justice teachings. And then there is a, another role to be outreaching to communities in need. Our values and ethos underpin everything that we do. Participating in Mercy Action at All Hallows definitely allows us to live out the ethos of the school. We are taught about all of the wonderful things that Catherine McCauley was doing and to be able to actually put that into action is so satisfying. You really do realise that you are making a difference. It's really a rewarding experience getting to help other people in the community and giving back for all the opportunities that we get and it really opens your eyes to the needs of other people. It's wonderful to see them come in as little 11 year olds and to move out as 17 year olds. Confident, independent young women but who are willing to speak out who are willing to get involved in the community. It has so many benefits in making them a richer, more balanced, more caring person when they do leave us to go to the next stage in their journey. Today, the school has grown to encompass girls from Year 5, with more than 1,500 pupils now enrolled. Major Capital Works has seen the transformation of the school into a modern educational environment while maintaining the valued heritage of the campus. While there are no longer Sisters of Mercy on staff at All Hallows, their legacy continues. A transition ritual took place in 2013 to entrust Mercy partners with the ownership and governance of the school. The school continues to carry out the traditions of Catherine McCauley and the Sisters of Mercy through its facets of Mercy Action, Culture, Sport 
and academics. As Catherine said, we won't all be extraordinary, but we can do the ordinary things extraordinarily well. They have a genuine enthusiasm and excitement about being people in our society who can make the world a better place. Students who come through here are women of compassion, women of mercy and women of justice and that they will have the capacity to stand up for rights and be people who can be counted on. Thank you.